Hello, good afternoon. My name is Ian Chikino. Today I'm going to be casting a set of matches between Idra, named uh, NYM Sunny, just because he has to use his account for this match. Uh, so that's Idra playing here as the uh, red Zerk player versus Serens as our blue Terran player. Now this is going to be a best of five for the Intel Extreme Masters tournament. Being held over in uh, Europe? Germany? I think it's in Germany. Anyways, we're on Steps of War right now. Uh, Saren's moving out. Is he going to be building a supply depot or barracks? Barracks first. So it looks like he went barracks on 9 there. Or maybe, actually, that was on 10, I think. So then we're probably going to see a. Uh, actually, it looks like he's pushing up to build a supply depot. And then heading back to get some minerals. Over here in Idra World, we have a 14 supply right now, so we're going to be seeing his next major decision, either a pool or a hatchery. He has his one overlord here, looks like he's on a path to scout out over along this area. And this one is headed, it's like over here, checking out that. And then he's just going to hang out right above here watching this little area. Sarens heading out, going for a scout. Sending an SCV out. Uh, Idra is sending a drone out. We've got two SCVs. What is going on here? Did he see that? I don't think he saw that. We have one Marine pushing out pretty soon. Uh, another Marine being made. Is he going to kill that drone? Looks like the drone is going to sneak by. Two barrier or two bunkers being built. This overlord did not see that, so it looks like we're going to have a wall in here by some bunkers. Saren's going for an early contain. Uh, that drone is still alive in the base. Steady stream of marines coming out. I'm gonna need a supply depot. There it is. He's gonna get supply blocked here, maybe for a brief second. Idra getting his me metabolic boost upgrade for the speedlings. Uh, he's got still, still getting gas there. And this is probably, he's going to, he still has not seen that. He does not know he's trapped in his own base for right now. We have two Marines in there. And uh, he, he's got some work to do to, to break out of this. Our that drone's still hanging out down here. Attack. Saren's sending that SCV in just to get a little peek. He's gonna pull He's going to pull uh, Idra right into his... He was trying to bait him straight back into those uh, bunkers, but uh, Idra, quick with, quick with his fingers, uh, too smart for that, holds back. We have a Queen of Production and a Baneling's Nest. So we're probably going to have Idra here go for uh, a Baneling bus to uh, break down his front door to let him have some free room to roam and build an expansion. Saren's popping up another refinery. Three uh, marines just hanging out in the back of his base. It looks like he's not going for a really strong contain here. Just enough to delay Idra. He's not planning on winning the game with this. Just uh, just delay that expansion enough so Idra has to waste some uh, money on some banelings, some lings, waste some larva. And he's got five lings, five banelings out here right now. And uh, there comes a six. Let's see how he plays this. Going out. Definitely easy. Taking out those two Marines in that SCV and those two bunkers. Factory and a bunker being placed for Saren. So now he is on the defensive. Trapped behind his wall of buildings. Idra going up, just taking a little quick look, seeing what he's got to face up there. He sees a factory popping down. And over here we have Saren's building a proxy barracks, uh, probably for Reapers maybe? He may be putting a tech lab on there for Reapers, or maybe he's just going to build it to scout with. He could just build it and then just fly it over Idra's base just to see what's going on. Idra popping down a hatchery. Has a second queen out there. I think that's a second queen. Yes, that is a second queen. Still on gas. Hasn't teched a hatchery yet, or hasn't teched two lair yet. Probably doing that yet right there as soon as he gets enough gas. Throwing down a second extractor. You, that queen using a lot of uh, a lot of energy to lay down creep tumors, 
And with the spine crawler being placed down right there in the very front. Good placement of it. And yes, here we go. We have Sarens actually building that barracks just for scout purposes. Not to actually produce any units out of it. It is a very cheap scout unit. And very durable. I think it has a faster movement speed. It has 0.94 movement speed versus an overlord, which is a 0.47. And it only costs 50 more. It has a thousand life versus an overlord with 200. So bang for buck and scouting, a barracks is a better scout unit than an overlord. At least uh, until the overlord gets some upgrades on it. So Saren's checking it out. He sees the upgrade coming. He's probably on his way over here to check out that hatcher. He does not see it yet, but he will be seeing it fairly soon. There it is popping up. Quite a few drones to check out work account. Idra up by only four harvesters at the moment. Banshee's in production for Saren's. Doesn't have cloak yet. Up, oh, that overseer sneaking in right now. He's going to see exactly what's going to pop out of here. Is he? He does not see banshees. He does not see banshees come out of there. But it's safe to assume that uh, those are banshees. I don't think most people go double starport for dual fast raven rush, but it is possible. So you have two banshees providing some vision for this barracks. Uh, this barracks providing some vision. Oh wow, nice! Flying that, flying that barracks in first to uh, have the queen just manually, uh, or automatically focus fire the barracks in just a couple hits, which gives the banshees just a couple seconds of uh, free damage on another queen coming out and another queen coming out. Idra is going to easily fight off this this uh, this banshee rush. Not too, he's, uh, he killed two queens with that, which was nice, but, uh, Idra easily replaces them. I'm gonna try and get some drone kills here. Gets two right there. Two dead bodies, up to three kills. Two more Banshees coming in from the side, but Idra does have six Hydralists, and those are easily going to be able to fight off those, those Banshees. It does sneak in one little kill there, but nothing too serious. We have the centri centrifugal hooks upgrade coming and groove spine upgrade for the Hydra, the range upgrade, which he'll definitely need if he wants to try and fight some ranged banshees. We have some tanks being built and we have a lot of barracks being produced. So as far as production buildings we've got, actually we still have this barracks flying around. I think it's still alive, and it looks like this SCV may come up with repair. Idra working on taking out these destructible rocks so he can be in a good position to easily expand and easily protect his expansion. We have four Banshees over here for Sarens. Looks like they're going to come try and make a hit, but Idra is already ready for this. He's going to walk right into a trap right here. One Banshee going down. Oh, almost losing two Banshees with that hit. So over here just Keep an eye on this next closest expansion. We do have some tanks with siege mode upgrade finished. Four barracks in his base. One still flying around, I think. That thing is going to burn. Uh, I think he actually had this SCV here to repair that, that barracks while it was in the air to uh, let it fly around for a little bit longer, but he must have forgot about it. Saren's with his expansion. Let's check the income right now. 